so it's me your little boy Kisamson. so I, I have this message for us choosing ones you have to prepare and be ready for the worst you know what I'm saying this video may sound somehow but you will need to do it to be aware of it you know what I'm saying I have done a video like this yesterday but I was not able to give out everything that is why i decide to repeat it also today for so if you are if you have not watched the video yesterday please go and watch it you know what i'm saying because the truth is that if you are not pre if you are going to a uh, zang hall and you never study or you never open your book or read anything or cram anything you just be like someone who is what try who is going when you know that you have already failed you know what I'm saying? So what am I trying to say is this. Always prepare for the worst. Some people said, uh, what does that mean? I don't know that the expectations of a man, he, he, whatever a man thinks, that is who, whom he become. No. If this one is quite different from what you do, what you expect. This one is that, ah, I know that in time to come, people whom I love may end up, what? may end up, that does not mean they will, may end up betraying me. You know, that is just the fact truth. Because many of us are not prepared. That is why we have a lot of people who are committed. Some people said uh, they jump from two-story building, therefore. You know, that was something that happened recently about a, la a man who was training a lady in university in Nigeria. So after the lady graduated, and the hope of the man was that they are going to marry, that after the graduation, the next thing that they will be budgeting or planning for is how to marry. But on the way, the, ma the woman dropped the man. And just because the man was not able to bear the pain, he do what? He, he decided to give it out. He decided to end his life. That's why I always tell us, no matter wh whom you think that love you, no matter whom you are supporting today, and you believe that maybe you support them or you care for them you do a lot of stuff for them and they promise you they tell you ah we are going to do this and at the end of the journey they did not fulfill it you got to understand that it pay not everyone can bear that pain so will even give up their life because of that situation so that is why i'm here to advise you always prepare for the worst you know the reason why i'm saying this is because i have been what i have been in that situation that is why sometimes when i'm telling you my story you will see tears flowing you may not see it maybe directly but deeply inside me is flowing like ocean it's flowing like ocean it's truly flowing because people have promised me people have told me ah, i'm going to do this i'm going to do that you know i, I believe it comes to a point where some of them who promised me all these things still come back to me and tell me. Imagine someone who promised to help you still come back to you and tell you that you, you always believe all their lies. How will you feel? Imagine someone who whom tell you, I love you, I do this, and at the end of joining, he, he or she come back and tell you, Ah, I have used you. Ah, you always believe you are this, you are that. How will you feel? But if you are prepared for it, you will just tell them, I know. I just want you to waste your time thinking that you are wasting my time. Maybe you will just tell them, I know. All glory be to God. Thanks for being with you is nice. Also, living with leaving you is a what is a is a great word favor. That is why you need to prepare always. That a time will come in your life where people whom you are ready to give your life for will end up abusing you. A time will come in your life where people whom you are fighting for secretly will end up destroying you, even publicly. A time will come in your life where that your children, where that your lovers, where they will end up calling you all sorts of names. <laughs> you know, you know that is why uh, you need to understand that as a father, you must surely also be prepared, because there will be a time in your life where even your own child, your own children, 
will be telling you you are you are the cost why they are not doing well that is why you need to prepare i have seen a lot of fathers in my place who died because of the abuse of their own children i'm not saying this because of i don't i have not see it i'm not saying this because i have not i don't have the i'm not aware of it i'm not saying this because i don't know what i'm saying i'm telling you what i saw with my two eyes a lot of parents died because of the abuse of their what of their own children their own children end up accusing them you are the cost why i lost my business you are but the truth is this if if they are prepared and they know that ah something like that may happen not that i am praying for it to happen but it may happen they will do what they will withstand that is what my daddy used to tell me when i was a kid he said something always prepare that even if people are shooting you in the back you don't need to turn and start to run you, 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 you don't need to just start to run first of all stand like a lion and see who, what is pursuing you if it is for you to run you run and if it is for you not to run you stay you know what i'm saying because you need to understand the world we are living people forget good more than evil people will forget your good so fast that the evil that the errors you commit they will be the one that they will be remembering for the rest of their life that is why you need to build yourself equip yourself make yourself more what more successful before you start to think about others may god bless you remember blessed.